to this, that's what it is. But fuck, I was just watching this shit. I was getting educated a little bit too. Shit. Like, I was just about to go listen to the Letterman shit. Probably just, probably get some new rhyme schemes. You know what I'm saying? Letterman was a dope tune. But that yeah. shit had DMX tight when he came home and he said, what? This nigga blowing up with what? I showed him that shit. I'll be Ben too. Come on, yep. man. Those niggas are all around, though. You know, mm. they get that opportunity first, jump, steal the shit. You know, these niggas is fake all day. They do that all day. So you all are about to drop a tune? Is this what I'm hearing? I I, I got a chance to check online and see what I'm going. I seen a snippet on Keep Six Solid. Salute to them. Mm-hmm. Man, am I dropping that just now or what? Nah, you know how it is. It's niggas shit keep getting leaked, bro. That's why, like, fuck, I don't know. Like, like. I don't know. Remember I showed you? You seen me. I didn't really want to even send you my shit. You, mm. see, how, you see how I move with my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, well, you never hear, I told you guys already, any song I'm on solo, it would never get leaked. Yo, let me show the people. <laughs> I said, button, dog. Just send it to him to my email. <laughs> Nigga said, nah, give me the ox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it from my phone. <laughs> I don't play that shit. Because if I'm like, niggas is putting in too much work for these guys. What these guys don't know was like this leaking shit. You guys are spoiling the the songs. Like, mm. like it's like a waste now. Like, at this point, you guys shouldn't even leak. And especially big bloggers like that, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, honestly, that's what I think. You guys are kind of killing the culture a little bit. It's not even cool at this point because, like, Niggas work hard, you know? Mm -hmm. Some, some faggot-ass niggas demand them. At the end of the day, your own homies leak your shit. <laughs> Engineers. And then it's like... Like, bro, it's not a bomb when you drop it now. You know what I'm saying? And they're eating into the man them's pocket, fam. Like, That's I don't want to make saying. it sound that harsh, but it's a fucking fact, bro. You know, you're taking out of my fucking um, streams. Like, bro, that's an extra... Maybe two hundred thousand streams that I could have got, but you want to be fucking clouded up, Cause yeah, up. right? Because now take it in now, take it in. Say five is in jail or YG is in jail. Like we didn't get to shoot the video. You don't know what's going on. Like it's not like you're you're rushing people now. Mm -hmm. Now now you're forcing niggas' hands to rush to get the video done. Like say these niggas were in jail, no video done. Say the, it's not mixed. Like people want to change their verses or change their bars, you know? You don't give people opportunities to even do that when you're doing that, you know what I'm saying? Men and them are not looking at it like art. Yeah, so... You know, the people who are leaking I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the bloggers. I'm talking about the people who yeah. leak it to the bloggers. Men and them yeah. are not looking at it like art. They're looking at it, it's like a lick. But the person yeah. who's creating it, like yourselves and all the other artists, that's a fucking... Yeah. It, it took... You guys have to think this shit out. Like, it wasn't just an idea that was already sitting there. The mm. shit was nothing, and then it became a fucking idea, and it became a mm. tool. So that's fucking and, art. So and don't expect the process. And niggas have rollouts, too. Like, say niggas didn't even want to put that out. You know what I'm saying? What mm -hmm. have, like, what if it's not the right timing? Or what if people, like, have a change of heart? Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like, that could happen, too, you know? Maybe oh. people up outgrow their music sometimes, too. And you're leaking some older shit. So, as you could see, niggas changed their verses on it because it was too grimy. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you, if you really do your homework, there's a reason why fucking niggas went and po if you go on YG's page, he posted a different version of the song. Wow! So and I didn't like, even catch that, fam. I I, yeah. I haven't had a chance to dig into the news of it. I just seen the look at look at YG. It wasn't even on beats. Da 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 da. Like, come on, bro. You guys are giddy. Oh. You get what that I'm saying? Fucking what irk me, fam. Cause that's so, like, happened to us before back in the days. Yeah. Um, I sent a verse. Um, I'm, uh, there was a guy who wanted a verse from one of my artists that I used to manage, right? We sent him the fucking files and everything. The mm. man ready to put it on the radio. The shit is not even synced properly, bro. I'm like, that's fam, how you got my rapper sounding like he can't fucking rap on the goddamn beat? Yeah, you're killing people's shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So that's why it sucks, man. And, like, I don't even blame the blogs. Like you said, I blame the niggas that gave it to the blogs. They blame the man, you know what I'm saying? 
I've yo, been... vlogs are just a post. Like, yo, the fans have been looking for this, and we got, and this fell on our lap, man. Pause. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, like, I know that's but how they how do you get it? Eat. I know. That's yeah. how they eat, and, like, I'm not even knocking their shit, but, like, bro, like, you're fucking with niggas' money. You're fucking with niggas' careers and shit at this point. And niggas are doing it. The niggas that are around us are the ones doing this. And like I said, niggas are doing it to be cool, to say, yo, I have the new five. I have the new unreleased. Like I said, niggas is fucking pussy off of this shit. Gay ass shit. Niggas is sending it to bitches. Ops are getting it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas think it's cool. That's why anyone that asks me to send them music, I don't send it. Because then I don't know who the culprit is. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you have no dealings with this music, I'm not sending it to you. If you're not the editor, if you're not fucking writing a treatment to my video, why do you need it? You want to listen to it? You're going to jump in my car or you're going to be around me and I'll play it for you a million times while we're together. I'll get your feedback, but you're not going to have my shit and have access to it where you could send it out. So I know if my shit gets sent out, it's only the the engineer. Mm -hmm. And if it didn't make it to the camera guy, it's only the engineer. If it made it to the camera guy, then it's the camera guy. <laughs> and Yo, I, have, I have people that I've been in listening sessions or gotten to listen to things ahead of time and I'm not going to name no names. Nobody in the comments don't make any fucking assumptions. Mm -hmm. But they're like and because I'm a journalist too, right? They're like, make sure you're not fucking recording with your phone on top of that. Because mm -hmm. just for them to play me the tune. Because mm -hmm. all, all man could do, pull one of those fucking um, squeegee moves like let me That's just record on my phone while man's playing the tune for me in the car. Nigga, what? Make sure you're not recording on your phone neither, bro. But niggas are gay. They're giddy. They're clout chasing. Clout is a, a, the new drug. It's a disease. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, it's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah. need clout to feel cool. They, they never been no one in their whole life. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when now they're, that they're fast, around niggas. He was clout. like, yo, no offense. And I was like, fam, I'm not taking no offense to it, fam, because... You know, you just got to say it because some niggas might be doing it. Mm -hmm. Right? So I didn't take no offense when the man told me that. I was like, yo, fam, of course it's not. I'm not going to record it. Just play the tune. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, bro. And like what? I said, I don't mind playing it for the man. And, and, and that shows me like, okay, now niggas will hit me back and say, yo, send me that tune. Then I know which one resonated or which one stuck in their head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I go like, okay, yo, that's the tune that I could kind of focus on. And then I don't play it out that much because it's, if they had it, then they would play it out, you know? Mm -hmm. That one day they played it out a little bit, boom, you know? Then they hit me ah. like, yo, I played them 10 songs, but you're asking about this song. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's something special about this song. Hold on a second, Bundog. HK, you gotta relax. Hey, he's on. the live. He's on it. I feel no way to block you, bro. It's not going to take no money out of my fucking pocket, bro. I'm sorry. He wants his interview, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, we're not going to be doing the Let's Spam Friday's fucking um, live right now. You know what I mean? Other people have points they want to get off. And you you blocking their points. Mm -hmm. well, that's, Shit. Pretty much, that's pretty much it, fam. Right, I'm going to let you go to bed, fam, because, like, you know... I'm all here. I'm not even worried about better. I'm just, I was just laying down, relaxing. Like, it feels good to be off the road early, you know? Usually yeah. I get home four or five in the morning and shit, you know? Yeah. I've been in bed trying to go to bed for like since 10, 11 and shit. Let us know what you got on the way so that fucking the, the people then could tap in, you know what I'm saying? Besides the interview that you gave us, gave the people some, some exclusives of what going on still, you know? Okay. That's what I'm saying. We need part two, fam. They want part two, bro. They need to read up for Huh? You might pass your bro just now with the views on that, on that interview. The interview, huh? You said that we're going to pass Fushaisi, yeah? You passed Fushaisi a long time ago. No disrespect <laughs> to who, but like you passed that nigga like three times over, fam. Maybe five yeah. times. Come on, we're going to pass it. Like I said, you just got to speak that real shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you might catch up to your bro on the right. on the views. His 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 is at like forty three thousand right now. Yeah, and that was like maybe two months ago. Yours yeah. is like less than a month old, and it's already almost at thirty k. 
Yeah. Uh, just saying. All right, that's bro. But you know why? Like I said, why I came in the game and why I do this stuff is just to show, bro. Like my nigga, me and you are the same person. Like whatever I could do, you could do, fam. Just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is how you're supposed to go on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gotta lead by examples. It's one thing for me to tell him, yo, go do this, because I tell him, don't smoke, don't drink in your interviews, but you're not doing that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I went there and I did that, and then I actually there was even one comment because I read you guys' comments. There's one comment where people actually like someone recognized that they're like it's the professional professionalism for me, right? Like me <laughs> or Monty wasn't smoking or drinking, and I feel like. Maybe that's why press is like not answering questions correctly or like drifting off topic. Maybe because you're high, you know. You're well, with us, he was with us. I feel he was locked in. No, that's what I'm saying. Was he smoking on you guys' interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. with us, I think it's a little different because we're home team, fam. We're no, speaking the same is. slang. You know what I'm saying? Man feels more comfortable. He's like, fuck, I haven't talked to man them from home in a minute. He's got, talking to bare Americans. Yeah, so yeah, I would yeah. imagine talking to us is more of a breath of fresh air. Even though these niggas is bigger than us, like a fucking Adam-22 and all that. Fact, it's still fact. like, I don't know you niggas. Mm -hmm. But he actually did good on Adam-22. When I'm talking about his interviews, I'm like, more like, I was it, probably Vlad. He had a couple bad ones. We all know, you know? But he had a couple good ones to get it better, you know? Mm -hmm. I told him, all you guys do is just be yourself, you know? You don't need yeah. to switch up. You don't need to give them the accent, the American accent. You don't need to try to, like, sound articulate and stuff like that. You just, like, fam, the words will flow, you know? Mm -hmm. when, you just, when you're just being yourself, like, because, like, he's always trying to be professional, too. Like, he's probably not trying to swear. He's not trying to say bitch or nigga or something. Like, my nigga's an interview, you know? Talk, you know? Just talk. Let the people do what they got to do. If it if, mm -hmm. if it's a no curse thing, then just try not to curse. But if you mm -hmm. do a few times, then let them fucking edit it out. Yeah, Breakfast they Club has um, a two-minute a two minute or five-minute delay on their shit. So even mm -hmm. if they're live and, and Charlemagne says nigga, it gets, um, or it says bitch or whatever, they blank it by the time it gets to the live air. Yeah, sick. See, I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Free game. Huh? Yep. Most live broadcasts have a two-minute to five-minute delay on them. Not, yeah, that should that makes sense because now people can't just go there and go on a rant. That makes sense. Salute to Janet Jackson. Why she went and did that? Because huh? when the, the titty came out, that was yeah, that was one of the things where they were like on the Super Bowl. We need to yeah. have a two minute delay on this motherfucker right here. We can't have these titties popping out on on on, on huh? American TV. Come on, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, what's going on with what's going on with DMX though, man? We lost the legend. Lost the legend, fam. I'm I'm playing music here for the people, them. But once I'm off this, I'm not gonna be playing X music for a while. I'm, I have to give it about maybe about two weeks before I actually get to listening to X just on my own again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go take him in too, and just taking this underground shit. Maybe you could DM me some some tracks you recommend and shit. But I like I like that one. Like everyone been playing on their snap, the one with the girls. Mm. You know, he's, he's spitting all the girls' names and shit. That sounds hard. You know, the thing is what that track is called? Yeah. The track is called What These Bitches Want. From a nigga, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he didn't even, they didn't even find a way to be like, well, you know, X, there's not a way that you could just call it, like, yeah. what they want yeah. or something else. That he's like, nah, what these bitches want. <laughs> That's yeah. what I want to name it. <laughs> yeah. I and mean, they just name it all these bitches. Like, and they're just rhyming and shit, like. And then, then the video, you see just all different, different bitches and shit, you know? Yeah, man. Start from it's, it's dark and it's, and hell is hot, and, and, and you'll be good, bro. Listen to that whole album, and you'll be like, yeah, that nigga's a real nigga, bro. Okay, I'm taking it in, because remember, I came by, I showed you, like, my records. I showed you what I really want to do and shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, like, I'm just putting all different type of music and seeing what, what's my lane and then from there, but you already know what lane I really want to be in, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to be in, like, more, like, factual bars and stuff like that. Shit that resonates, goosebumps type of thing, like, and that's where, like, X comes in, you know? Mm -hmm. And people, like, a real artist, you know? Like, album. Yeah, storytelling is a big thing, bro. Yeah, storytelling, right? So, like, mm -hmm. I have that gift, so. I, I know. That, that, that track that you played me? Uh, which one was that one? The one where you're talking about the behind bar stories? 
Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. When the man when the people them hear that shit, oh Lord. That's what I'm saying. So like I have that, but like right now it's like I don't know, a lot of people like melodic stuff. So I've been listening to a lot of like like uh the TSU surf or like Benny the Butcher and shit like that. Mm. And like that's what just I've just been in my car driving on the highway and shit and just taking in that shit. Just real shit, you know? Sitting down, meditating to that. And then after mm-hmm. when I start writing, then I have that kind of delivery or that flow or whatever. Like um those type of bars, that energy. So that's the energy I'm going off, you know? You know like, who I, I like suggest? Pardon As a me? Canadian who I would suggest? Belly. Belly, yeah. I seen him do it with, 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 with Benny the Bitch Butcher. That song, he just dropped it today. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. like, even go back to, like, his Immigrant album or the album before that. Um, yeah. um, Autotune or what the fuck mm-hmm. was the album that he had before that? Belly goes in and he's yeah. super versatile. So he'll get fucking saucy on a tune. Mm-hmm. But then he'll switch the next tune and just fucking rap his fucking yeah. ass off, bro. Yeah, I seen him. That, that's why he asked. You know what I'm so saying? Like, and it's because like, he's a writer, so he's actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's actually at the same time. And and salute to my homie. He put me on. He's like, yo, this nigga's advertising his music at the same time because he writes for other people, right? Mumble Rap was the album that came on 2017. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you this as a guy who used to diss Belly back in the days when he was like still around here. I used to think his shit was corny, but from when he got with Rock Nation and like he got to just be free and do whatever he want and he had his bag mm-hmm. he came with some amazing shit bro that mm-hmm. should have fucking inspire you like yo i could do anything in the booth bro yeah, for sure that's what's crazy bro but like we need some of those real rappers you know like shout out to ar paisley you know what i'm saying thoroughbred mm-hmm. the crook you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. those type of like real rappers you know they're not like benny the butcher like Soof, but like we just need that because man, we're going through it over here, right? So, like, fuck, yeah, show niggas that we really go through it and shit. And give me something to bump, like the melodic shit's cool, turn up, yeah, it's cool, I bump it, but like on my long drives and stuff like that, or like on my plane rides, I mm. listen into like that shit, like that's why I'll go listen to like, say, like, like, um, a, a Dr. Dre album front to back, like you know, like the chronic. Mm. Or like a fifty cent album, like classics. A lot of Drake. I listen to all Drake's albums and shit, you know. And they so, teach you how to make yeah. albums that niggas. All the people yeah. you mentioned, because making an album is just not putting all the songs together you put that are your hottest songs. Mm-hmm. They have it has to flow, it has to make sense, it has to go from the beginning to end. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you listen to Kendrick's Good Kid Mad City, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the next that's one. a whole story told through an album. Yeah, because even when, and, and the skits are so crazy with, like, his mom and dad, and they're just funny, like, mm-hmm. you talk your shit, you could, like, even the skits are 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 in the transition, you know? 